Boy, I tell you, if everybody had elementary school teachers like Theodore Cleaver did, we would all stay back in elementary school. The biggest one we remember is usually Sue Randall, and she played Alice Landers. And that's the one that usually sticks out in my mind. But there was one before her in the first season that was also a very attractive lady. Her name was Miss Canfield, and she was played by Diane Brewster. She's a young, very attractive, no-nonsense school teacher who is leading the second grade class for the first time at Grant Avenue Grammar School when the show debuts in 1957. She has a great relationship with the students, and we also get to know her colleague, Miss Rayburn. She plays a very warm and attractive character that's very patient and an understanding teacher. Her first name is never revealed on the show. Now, Diane Brewster, the actress that portrayed the role, was an American actress that was born in 1931. And she's basically remembered for three distinctively different television roles in the 1950s and 60s. She plays Samantha Crawford in the Western Maverick. The second thing she plays is Miss Canfield in Leave it to Beaver. And the third thing is she's the voice of Helen Kimball in The Fugitive. Now, this is the wife of The Fugitive. She kind of appears in flashbacks, and her voice is heard a few times. She was born in Kansas City, Missouri, and went to Shawnee Mission High School. She studied liberal arts at the University of Kansas at Lawrence. After she finished her sophomore year at the university, she decided to take a job as a secretary at a radio station. She comes from a very distinguished line of people. Her father was a trial lawyer in Missouri. His name was Philip Sloan Brewster, and she's a direct descendant of a pilgrim named Elder William Brewster. He was the governor of the Plymouth Colony. She's also related to 18th century poet Martha Wadsworth Brewster. Her career and first job in the entertainment business was as an MC for a teenage radio program. She worked in commercials, fashion commentary, and even weather programs that soon followed after this. She was the announcer in 1956 for the Anna Ray Hutton Show, a variety program that was on NBC. Her role on Maverick was a character that's a gorgeous gambling con artist. With her lovable southern accent, she's ultimately likable. The first time she played this character was in 1956 in an episode of Cheyenne entitled Dark Rider, before appearing opposite James Garner in the third episode of Maverick. As she played the role of Miss Canfield on Leave it to Beaver for the first season on CBS in 1957 through 1958, and for the 1980 television revivals. She appeared in the Leave it to Beaver show pilot, which was called It's a Small World. She didn't play the teacher in this one, She played Mrs. Sims, a secretary with a dairy company. She made four regular season appearances as Miss Canfield. In episode one, it's funny that she appears in the credits as Diana Brewster, a mistake that was corrected for her next appearance in episode eight, as she was replaced by Sue Randall as Miss Landers in the second season and no reason was ever given for that. In 1957, she co-starred in a Western with George Montgomery that was called Black Patch, playing the former and future love interest. She made almost 50 appearances in various other television and film roles. She was in The Crusader, Wanted Dead or Alive, Tombstone Territory, Tales of Wells Fargo, And in 1959, she played the wife of the Ronald Reagan character in an installment of General Electric Anthology series, Nobody's Child. 
1960, she had a starring role as Wilhelmina Steamboat Willie Vanderveer in The Islanders, an hour-long adventure series set in the South Pacific. She also appeared in Wagon Train, Rifleman, The Dakotas, and Perry Mason. You will also notice her in the late 60s in Death Valley Days. You'll see her in Family Affair, and she played in Ironside right before she retired. In the premiere episode of Leave it to Beaver, she sends a note home with Beaver, and Beaver believes he's going to be expelled. Beaver is relieved when he discovers that the note contains only a request to have him play Smokey Bear in a school pageant. In another episode, Beaver develops a crush on Miss Canfield, and at the urging of his classmates, puts a spring snake in her desk to prove he's not the teacher's pet. In the episode Part-Time Genius, Miss Canfield tells the Cleavers that Beaver's IQ test results indicate that he's a genius. It proves to be a false alarm, however. And then in her last appearance on the show, she finds a dog hidden inside Beaver's jacket. Diane Brewster died from heart failure in 1991, and it was a very young age. She was only 60 years old. What a great character you played in that first season of Leave it to Beaver and so many other shows that we forget about. Thank you so much for your portrayal of those lovely characters. Rest in peace. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll keep chasing the classics.